Welcome to SPI Supplies Video Resources. This video will cover the basic operation of the SPI Supplies Plasma Prep Reactive Ion Etcher with a mechanical pump. Prior to beginning the daily operation, turn on the water recirculator or chiller as the base plate will need to be kept cool for the safety of the electrode. The power button turns on the system. An initial startup screen comes up followed by the timer screen menu. To alternate between the timer and process control screens, press the toggle screen button. To begin your process, press the vent button on the process control screen to ensure that the chamber is not under vacuum. When the chamber is venting, the button will read vent on. Once vented, the system can be opened and the sample placed into the chamber. Samples up to 7 inches in diameter can be processed in the PPRIE. Once the sample is positioned properly on the stage, carefully close the chamber lid. Press the vent button so that it shows vent off, followed by the vacuum button to on. The system will turn on the pump and begin to evacuate the chamber. It will take a few minutes to reach base pressure, which will vary depending on the vacuum pump being used and the nature of the samples and their outgassing characteristics. Control of the chamber pressure is achieved by the adjustment of the gas flow meter valves. There are two gas inputs which can be run independently or in tandem such as carbon tetrafluoride and oxygen. Once the desired operating pressure has been achieved, Press the toggle button to return to the timer screen and using the selection keys, set the process timer. The system allows the user to store the time for easy recall for multiple runs. Once the timer and operation parameters have been set, the unit is ready to run. Selecting the RF button to on will begin the cycle. The RF level knob is used to control the power level from 0 to 200 watts. The power level setting is shown at the bottom of the screen. Adjust the tuning knob to maximize the effect of plasma relative to the power level setting. Some minor adjustments to the RF level and tuning may be needed after operating conditions are set and the process has begun. These slight adjustments will be needed as the temperature and operating pressure increase during its run. When set, the system will automatically terminate the plasma process when the timer reaches zero by powering off the RF while keeping the vacuum pump operating. To end the process early, simply press the RF button. At this point, close the gas inputs, turn the vacuum off, and vent the chamber by pressing the vent button. The chamber will slowly be vented to remove the samples. Once initial setup conditions have been set in the system, it's easy to run further samples with little RF or tuning adjustments.